Hi, this is Francis Potter, Solution Architect with GitLab. I'm here to answer a question today, which is, is it possible to create a, to easily, with very little work, create a custom form to pass variables into a GitLab CI pipeline? One of the problems that we have today with GitLab, as I share my screen, uh, I'm gonna go into this project that I just call custom pipeline form target. And one of the problems we have today with GitLab is that while it's possible to manually start a pipeline, load this up a little bit, you can click the run pipeline button here, and I can manually start a pipeline, I can pick the branch and I can enter values for variables, which means that I have control over things that happen in that pipeline. The problem is that the keys to the variables aren't here and there are no controls over those. So you can't have drop down controls or check boxes. There's also no help. Uh, there's no conditionality in that form. And so there's very little opportunity to create the kind of robust experience for someone who's manually kicking off a pipeline that you might have in other tools. And the question I'm trying to answer is, is there an easy workaround for that that doesn't depend on uh, reworking this page to be a sort of complete custom form builder thing? And I think I figured out a way to do it, and I'm sharing that with you today. So custom pipeline form target, all it is is, is it has a simple GitLab CI YAML that says, I would like to eat a dessert, where dessert is a variable that's being passed in. And you'll have to trust me, that variable is not set in this project. So that variable has no value at all. Okay. And uh, what I've got here is a custom pipeline form, which is another project that actually contains the form. Now, I've chosen to build this on GitLab pages, which means that it's all built into GitLab. And uh, I'm using the Hugo uh, template for that. That's, by the way, super easy to do. Uh, if you just go and say new project and create from template and choose pages slash Hugo right there, use template, go, you're good. Um, and I'll show you in a second what I did to modify that. But uh, essentially by making it a GitLab pages site, if I go here to pages, uh, it'll give me the address. I can never remember the full address. Of course, you can point your own domain name to this and everything and set up your own certificate. Um, oops, I forgot to sign out. So two pieces of magic that are happening here. The first is that you're able to sign in using your GitLab credentials. Now I've already signed in before using GitLab credentials. So I've already signed into this application, but if you haven't signed in before, it'll actually redirect you to GitLab and give you the opportunity to authorize this application to access your GitLab account. Okay, in this case, since I've already done that before, I just click sign in and I'm signed in. Okay, that's the first piece of magic. Sign out, by the way, signs you out, hey. Um, the second thing is, I've got a form here. Choose your favorite dessert. What's your favorite dessert today? Let's say banana pudding. Okay, and I'm gonna click run the pipeline. And uh, it comes back a second later, it says pipeline status is pending, view pipeline, right? I'm gonna click there to view the pipeline. A pipeline has been kicked off inside custom pipeline form target. So we've used the GitLab API to kick off a pipeline and you're doing that not using an API key, but actually as the user who you signed in as, okay? And uh, this job is unfortunately called placeholder. Um, we're gonna let that run for a second and see whether it actually grabbed the dessert choice that I entered. While that's running, I'll take you back and kind of show you what's inside that custom pipeline form uh, project. So in order to get the sign in and sign out to work, I wrote about this on my blog, ilovedevops.com uh, quite a while ago, authenticate to GitLab API from a pages site. There's actually this, this uh, blog actually has a sign in button and uh, it uses the implicit grant flow and there's detailed explanation here around how to do that. Okay, that requires you to modify a couple of things. Um, the, main th the main things are that you need uh, a page for the auth callback and a page for sign out. Both of those just contain a block of JavaScript that does the right thing and then does a redirect. Um, and, uh, and then you also need to create an application within GitLab and get the key for that application and stick it in, in here. So um, the blog post explains all of that. I'm not going to go into that here. The other piece of magic here is the form. So the form is actually just in index.md, which allows it to show up on the homepage. There's no real navigation here. There's nothing really fancy going on. 
And this is just a very basic HTML form. Obviously at this point, because this is in HTML, it's actually a markdown, but you can use HTML within the markdown. Actually, if I called this index.html, it would probably still work. Um, uh, the, this is just a very basic HTML form, but obviously you could use your own styling. You can have conditions in the forms. You can have scripts in the forms. You can have restrictions in the form, whatever you want to do. And then there's the JavaScript that does the magic. Yes, let's leave that. That's fine. And in this particular case, I've just put the JavaScript in the footer. Uh, obviously, if you're doing this for real, you'd want to have JavaScript in a JavaScript file and you'd want to break it out. I've got login stuff and um, an API call stuff all in one place here because it's just an example. Um, so there's all the sign-in stuff is happening here. But to skip forward, this is the API call. Okay, and what the API call is doing is it's calling, it's creating a new pipeline with the project ID there um, and passing in the branch that it wants to build and the variable dessert with the value from the uh, dessert control in the form. Now, you'll notice here I'm using jQuery. I know the world has moved beyond jQuery. Please don't give me a hard time about it. I'm old school and that's what I know how to use and it's easy enough. Um, obviously, you'd probably use something a little more recent than that. I've also got a little uh, failure handling here, a um, little bit of output here. So just to kind of like pretty it up a teeny bit. And sure enough, then when you click the button, it starts the pipeline. And OK, the last one here. And it says, I would like to eat a banana pudding. So what have we done? We have logged into our pages site. Our pages site, the only thing it really has of any great interest is an HTML form and a little block of JavaScript to submit the form directly to create the pipeline. And it has a little bit of magic to do the sign in and sign out. And what we've been able to do is take the value and any, any number of values, doesn't have to be just one value, from that form and pass them into that pipeline as variables that can be accessed as environment variables within that pipeline. Now, I think that makes it really easy to create a, a custom form to kick off a pipeline. Is it ideal? Not entirely. There are two shortcomings. The first is it's at a different address. It's not inside GitLab, it's outside GitLab. Even though you're using GitLab to sign in, it's still outside GitLab. The second is there's a little bit of a security hole there. That, that GitLab pages site has to contain the key that it uses as an application within GitLab. And obviously if a hacker were able to get their hands on that key, they could potentially uh, get access to someone's GitLab account through by, by spoofing this application. There are a couple of controls in place to prevent that, but, um, but I think uh, it, before this goes into production, probably need to kind of check on the security of that. Anyway, that's all I got for right now. Thank you very much for watching.